Miters are usually used to fabricate aprons and waterfalls in the countertop industry. When fabricating or programming the saw, material will be removed from the backside or non-polished side so that we can glue the two pieces together to continue the polish side around the corner. These are often referred to as 45 degree miters. However, we often cut them a little bit more, maybe 45 and a half or 46 degrees. This makes for a tighter finished corner on the polish side and a gap for glue on the back side when we fold it 90 degrees. The two types of miters are overcuts and undercuts. When the blade is not perpendicular to the material, it is creating miters, both an overcut and an undercut. We may use both overcuts and undercuts when making aprons in a kitchen. When we look at the top view of an L-shaped countertop, we can see from the edge view of the aprons how they would have to be cut to fit. The polish side would be facing out. The back side shows the stone's thickness of the apron and the blue shows how the saw cuts would have to be applied, starting with a straight cut on the left end. The labels show the type, either undercut or overcut, while the letters show the matching ends. I'll move one of the aprons out to show how it can be positioned on the table, and then I'll mirror it to flip it over so that the back side is down on the table because it's cut with the polish side up. The back side is down and polish side is up. I'll do the same with the other three aprons as well. I'll turn on some dimension lines and labels so we can easily identify the aprons as they're laid out on our saw table. Now it's a little easier to see the different miter types. This first outside corner needs undercut miters applied, whereas this inside corner needs overcut miters applied. The other outside corner needs undercut miters, and then we have the straight cuts on the ends. So we have two undercuts and two overcuts and two more undercuts. Undercuts being the most common type of miters. Undercut meaning the blade goes back under the polished side. And overcut meaning the blade goes over and past the polished side. Now let's take a closer look at how the parts are laid out on the table. Some machines may have physical limitations to where mitered parts can be placed. Most saws have full table coverage for straight cuts where the blade is able to go to or past the edge of the table. When mitering and your blade is tilted towards the inside of the table, you may experience a physical limit with smaller footprint machines. This typically only affects miters in one direction towards the edge of the table. There would be enough room to do a miter in this direction towards this edge of the table. The blade can only tilt in one direction. The tilt or angle of the blade is called the A-axis. So in order to cut a miter in the opposite direction, the C-axis must rotate 180 degrees. When programming parts that have miters use the provided 
Park Industries table templates. They can be found on your machine's toolbar. So here I'll choose to insert the table template from the Voyager toolbar. The only limitation on the Voyager template is the dotted line around the three edges showing us that miters with the blade tilted in cannot be placed outside the dotted line. Table templates will vary and are provided for each machine. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks.